All right, guys. Sleep paralysis, the uncanny valley. Um, a lot of positive reviews. I can tell you this. This is going to be assets, but, you know, in this day and age, everybody thinks they're a freaking game developer. So, you know, grab some chewing bub, some chewing gum, some duct tape, some Lego blocks, stick it all together, pick a shit, waft, and then you got a game. But this one might actually be good. Or it might suck. I don't know. I don't do my research. Let's go. The game may potentially trigger seizures for people with photosensitivity. Accuracy in the information and portrayal of mental illness may differ from those in reality. <laughs> the story about my sleep paralysis. 19 August 2018, Barkley Valley, British Columbia, Canada. This will be the story about what happened to me over the last few days. Have you ever wondered what would happen when bad decisions make you lose your mind? It turns out this is happening to me. If someone were to read this, they would probably think I'm crazy. Maybe I am. I'm not even sure where to start, and I certainly don't know how I'm gonna explain this to my wife. Zoe. Uh, but let's start where it all began. Three days ago, after a long day at work. Chapter 1 An Unexpected Event. Nocturnal emission. Yeah. You're sleeping and <laughs> shoot a big old load right in your face. True. Motion blur! It was an exhausting day at work. I just came back from the town. The town is only a 15 minute drive from here. Anyway, apart from this, it appeared to be an ordinary evening. All right, the diary. Let's go, horror engine. All right, can we just, at least, you know, at least we have some options to like turn down volume and shit, right? Yeah. Turn this down a little bit here. Turn down the voice. Turn down the effects. Save it. Alright, not so bad. Let's go. Zoe and I bought this house about a year ago. You might wonder, why this place? Why so far from everything? Well, let's just say because both of us wanted to get away from it all. The city, the noise, everything. Just a quiet place for ourselves. I did pick up a remote control, by the way. Eh, you know, it's War Engine, but uh, he seems to know what he's doing. Well, not really when it comes to lighting. Holy shit. Prepare food. Prepare this dish. Oh no. Okay. Right, I was about to say, maybe a... What do you mean prepare food? E, prepare food. Oh. After eating, I wanted to watch TV or work on my computer. Some decisions will have an impact on your playthrough and influence the story. Did you notice how I put the wrong emphasis on the wrong syllable of influence? Okay, E does not work. All right. This guy is very fucking easily amused. True. Zoe had gone on holidays a few days prior to that evening. That's why I was alone. Zoe and I usually go on holiday together. 
but this time it didn't work out because Zoe went to Hawaii. It's been one of her dreams for a long time. Why didn't I go with her? The simple answer, I'm an anxious flyer. I've hated airplanes since that one flight. After that flight, I swore I would never fly again in my lifetime. Keep this in mind, because I'll come back to this. I'm happy I was able to convince her to go, even without me. That way she could experience it at least once. Man, fuck that. My girlfriend wanted to go to Hawaii, something like that. I didn't want to fly. I'd take a boat. I know it's a longer trip, but I'd take a boat. You let your girlfriend go to Hawaii and you don't go with her, she's going to get that dick. Someone's going to dick her down good in Hawaii. No shit. She's going to come back with a big old grin ear to ear. Shit, man, because she's going to be dicked down good. After killing some time, I decided to take a shower and go to bed. Mm -hmm. Sounds like one of my lifestyle. It's a rave. Just left the front door open while I was chilling watching TV. That's how I roll. We're not using the computer. Fuck all that. Let's take a shit and get this game going. Okay, we can't take a shit. Sorry, dude. Protagonist cannot take a shit. All the lights are still on. The fuck? After kills, take a shot. Mm-hmm. I don't know why, but I didn't feel like writing anything down at the time. Maybe I should have. Oh, okay. Oh. Bro, go to sleep, motherfucker. Yo, who that? I can't move my body, only my eyes. Oh, it's one of those fucked up sex dreams. Hell yeah. You gotta love crazy chicks. Hey, how's it going? Uh, what this fucking flashing flickering bullshit? Game broken? Hello? Hello? I think the game might be fucking broken as fuck or some shit. Oh, okay. Let me tell you something that makes this sleep paralysis even worse. I know this woman I just saw. No, it wasn't Zoe. It was Alice. Albeit a distorted and demonic version of her. Who is Alice? Well, you could say we've had a history together. Two long years. Only two? 
Fucking amateur. I mentioned demonic Alice, but that's probably how you would view her too, if you saw her for what she really was. It's strange, because I've avoided thinking about her over the years, and now here she was again. The sleep paralysis would play an important role very soon, not that I knew it at the time. Huh. I thought he was going to describe my ex-wife for a second. If he was just like, oh, she was a selfish, egotistical, and hypocritical, chicken cheating bitch, then I would have been like, oh, my ex-wife, but he didn't say that. I decided to go to sleep again. I had to be fit for work the next day. Oh, okay. What is this fucking light? Why is this? God damn it, that's loud. Time to get up and go to work. My car is downstairs. <laughs> Can you imagine if he's like, I gotta go to work. My car's in the living room. Well, I've had some fucked up Saturday nights. That's probably true for me, but, you know, you know. I'm going to leave the door front open. I live in the country. People leave their doors open and shit out here. All bumpkin and shit. I mean, I drive a fucking Peugeot. Come on, give me some credit. It was an uneventful day at work. Except I couldn't stop thinking about what happened the night before. At work, I talked to my colleague Jack about last night. He told me he has heard about this phenomenon. He said it's called sleep paralysis. It's a state where you cannot move because your mind thinks you're asleep when you're not actually asleep. I decided to research what happened to me after I got home. Maybe there was more information on the internet on how to prevent it. That day, I already had dinner in town, and decided to do research as soon as I got home. I wanted to understand. Understand what happened. You know, ever since I started jerking off like two or three times before I go to bed, no sleep paralysis. I'm telling you guys. It works. I decided to research what happened to me. Maybe there was more information on how to prevent it. Hey, the door's still open. Boy, we got good neighbors. Search for measures against sleep paralysis. What is sleep paralysis? Why does sleep paralysis happen? Why is this really hot chick going down in this old fuck? How can sleep paralysis be treated? I had none of the described underlying conditions. I usually sleep well and enough. I don't use any drugs or similar substitutes. Anxious and fearful maybe, but I don't have any mental conditions that I knew of. Maybe I was just unlucky. I was glad to have found some practical advice. Now I just had to remember to close my eyes if I have a sleep paralysis again. After finding this useful information, I decided to relax on TV or further work on the website. Okay. Uh, you know what? This is right here. Work on website. Whew, boy, this guy's computer sounds like a damn jet engine. 
After killing some time, I wanted to take a shower and go, boy, this guy, all he wants to do is, this guy needs to research fucking manic depression. Because, like, all this guy wants to do is sleep. That's how I do it. Get right out of the shower, jump into bed, all wet and shit. Lay in that bed, spread eagle, that let the oscillating fan like blow right up your legs, blow dry you. Get your bowels all nice and dry. Fuck! My ears! No, I'm just. Fuck! Ow! <laughs> he has morning wood. <laughs> ah! I'm fucking dead now. Are you happy, developer? My cat is fucking homeless now. I vividly recall those dolls from my youth. They were from the most disturbing movie I had seen. I never thought I would be confronted with them again, not even in my wildest dreams. Don't forget this fact, because it's gonna become important very soon. At the time, though, I was just happy that closing my eyes worked. It got rid of everything. Man, I need to shave my chest. I just noticed my chest hair is totally covering my nipples. I had to sleep again because I oh Time to get up and go to work. My car is downstairs. Dude. Deja vu. Have you guys ever had Bouja Day? Deja vu is the feeling that you've done something before. Bouja Day is when you feel like you've never done something before. You know, like... I've never breastfed a wild boar. You know, like... That might be like Bouja Day. I've never had my butthole eaten out by a German Shepherd. After I told him, <laughs> he became visibly tense. I didn't make much of it at the time. Sorry, serious, serious, serious. Maybe he knew more than he told me. Maybe he knew what would happen next. After work, we went to a restaurant. And then had drinks at a bar afterwards. That's why I came home later than usual. I decided to research how to make the hallucinations disappear. Maybe there were ways to prevent it altogether. A suppository. Good idea. I usually take a suppository, you know, every other day. Just, you know, even if I have to go or not, just pop one up there. Get that tingling feeling when you in, right underneath your balls. You just oh shit, I gotta go. 
You're running, you know, putting your hand over your ass, trying to make sure you don't blow, you know. <laughs> Hell yeah, y'all right, know what I'm talking about. Y'all have all done it. Oh, come on. <laughs> ah, my PMs are going nuts. <laughs> like you guys have never sharted before, right? All right, maybe some of you have never shit your pants, okay? I'll give you that. Maybe you've never just flat out dropped a bowl winder in your fucking shorts, all right? Maybe y'all haven't done that, but I know everybody has at least sharted once, all right? You know, you try to do a nice little, like, like a fucking little lift and pull, you know, like, like lift up your cheek, kind of squeak one out, you know, and you wind up dropping a fucking douche. <laughs> yeah, y'all know what, yeah, y'all have. It's okay. You don't have to tell me. I already know. I already know. You shit all over your, like your couch or something. You know? And that stuff don't come out, man. Oh, it don't come out. You flip that cushion over and just spray some Febreze on it like every day and shit for the next 20 years. It'll dry out, you know? Search for measures against sleep paralysis. Investigate other cases. Insights from 12 cases of sleep paralysis. What happened to the patients? What caused the psychosis? Why did one patient not develop a psychosis? Do we care? <laughs> not really. Investigate the case of Jane... Okay. Jane Muslim, Public Archive. Symptoms. The patient described a difficulty to control feelings of worry. Treatment, cognitive behavioral therapy, oh, CBT, okay, end of the therapy, editorial note, the above cases of the patients have been referenced in an article called Insights from 12 Cases of the Paralysis, the purpose of which was to evaluate what happens when the patient shuts their eyes during sleep paralysis. I couldn't believe what I had just read. Denial would probably be the best way to describe my reaction to this new information. Maybe those patients were just unlucky. It could be far from the norm. It was an old study after all. I thought about going out before sleeping to catch some fresh air and calm down. I couldn't possibly know what was about to happen that night. See? He's gonna shit the bed. Like you guys have never done it, you know? Like, you've never, in the morning, you know, your alarm's going up, you're like, meh, 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 oh, God, you know, and you slap the alarm, you know, it's like, bah! You slap that alarm, and then you're just like, <laughs> you turn over, and you feel something, like, on your leg, and you're just like, you know, big old fucking, you know, big old deuce, it's like, 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 slugged over your leg, you know, big old 12-incher, you know, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> big old 12-incher, Shit, y'all, yeah, I know. You guys don't have to fucking lie to me. I already know y'all have done it. Yeah. You know? Then you think to yourself, you're just like, damn, I don't even shit that good when I'm awake. You know? <laughs> shit, I need to do this more often. Keep stuff moving, you know? <laughs> shit. I need to step out of the house for a minute before going to bed. Get some air. Calm down. All right. You see, this guy right here is in dire need of rubbing one out. That's what I'm saying. Fuck it, man. We're going for a jog. I'm gonna be a tired, sweaty bitch when I go to fucking bed. Let's go. But I stepped outside. I felt the calm and the coolness of the fresh air. I started to think about what happened during the past few days. Why me? What did I do to this? began thinking about what the future might hold. Jane Mellowin, what did she do? What did she mean by 
right choices. This little pathway leads right into the mountains. I've done this two hour hike at least five times now. The view down the Bankley Valley is simply amazing. The main road leads to a nearby town. Oh God, fuck, I shouldn't have ran. Now I gotta go back. <laughs> you see? Someone totally did. Thank you for being honest. Yo, this, you know, back when I used to drink a whole bunch, guys, like one time I, uh, there's this chick that I went to, she was a, she was a bar whore, right? So they, that's all she did. Like just, I think she's still at that bar. Actually, she's probably in her fifties now. She's still there. But anyway, I took her home, you know, we banged. That was a thing back then. And, uh, we were both like wasted out of our fucking mind. The thing was, we were still drinking hard alcohol when we, when we were fucking, man. We were like drinking that shit like water. Right. And we passed out, you know, after we banged and shit, Just kept drinking. And I totally shit the bed. I did. I dropped Deuce right in her fucking bed. I left her a note, like when I left, and I was like, <laughs> I can't tell you. Yeah, I can. Fuck it. <laughs> I, I told her she was nasty. I told her that she was nasty because she shit the bed. <laughs> Uh, I wasn't going to take responsibility for it. 